Cathedral Square downtown at the Artisan Center with Mr. David Goyette from Gallery Goyette and he's going to tell us about his paintings. Go ahead. Hi. I still love the masks on these days because we're still suffering from the pandemic. How are you? It's good to see you. Yeah. So, this is painting called Fireworks and it's done with a whole series of metal scrapers. This is called Script and it's really about, as a writer, the difficulties I have sometimes in breaking through and making sure that you know you get the message you want out and it's got little tiny bits of script in as well. These lines represent the, the nice clean thoughts that happen when you're writing well. And the background represents exactly the opposite, the, the writer's block we all get from time to time. This is a painting called Bayou, kind of influenced by New Orleans, and it's really just a sense of the colors that I sense and uh, uh, associate with uh, the Bayou in New Orleans. Some of the background is made with cellophane, which is an interesting technique. And what we do here is we use a painter's knife and we actually throw paint. Good way to get some stress out. And that's how we get that effect. The next painting is called Molten. And Molten is done with uh, without a brush or knife. So the paint is entirely poured and it's mixed with an airbrush medium so that it runs well. And every single one of the marks that you see here is done one at a time. So we do one and let it dry. And the way we move the paint around the canvas is by lifting up the canvas and tilting it and turning it. And it takes about a week to 10 days to get that done because each one of these is done separately and then they dry on their own. Called it molten because it looks like molten rock to me. So we're gonna move down here a little bit. This painting is called Isabel. It's an homage to a woman by the name of Isabel Zakafine from Germany who has inspired me for many, many years now. And it's just simply an exercise in mind and then turning it into something that looks uh, in some way to have a composition that's interesting. One of the nice features of this is the fact that this, this represents a scraping. We use metal scrapers to simply scrape away very quickly and aggressively. Otherwise, it would be a little bit too flat. That's called Isabel. This painting is called In the Woods. And it's my fun take, or abstract take on landscape. So you have the colors here that give rise to the growth of things in nature, green, blue, brown, and yellow. And then we have three abstract interpretations. So I take on trees. And the next painting is called Pastiche. Um, a very interesting painting in that it's done only using a squeegee. And you know, all painting really involves distributing paint around the canvas. And with this one, squeegee is the only tool you use. So you're going in portrait, you're going in landscape, and you simply move the paint to the point where you develop some sense of composition, which in this case is represented by blocks that you can see here, so that it's not just simply disorganized, but in fact organized in that fashion. And the last one we have for you today is called Volcano. This is my most recent painting, and it's created using a series of wedges. Um, to create the background full of color that you see. And then the entire thing, strangely enough, is painted over in white. You completely paint over all your work. And you begin then with another wedge to remove the white paint. As a result, we have representations in color and representations in forms that are in white. And I put the two red lines down the middle just to give it a little bit of structure and organization. So those are our paintings today. We're at the Artisan Center of Peterborough, and I'm happy to talk with you. Thank you very much.